Guess what we doing today? I saw that tippy tappy. I think it was off camera, but I saw the tippy tappies. Apparently today is snuggle day. We got Memphis snuggling with Kira. We got Eleanor snuggling over here on her bed. Yeah, we do. You're all snuggling. Today is actually going to be a two part update video, but before we even get into that, I want to mention real quick, if you hear thunder, there is a uh, thunderstorm happening outside right now, even though we don't have any rain, which is weird. Memphis is like, apparently I wanted my own spot. So, to give a little preface of what we're doing here, I'm going to do a little bit of a backstory. If you guys don't know, just a little less than a year ago, Miss Memphis had knee surgery. This is actually the leg she had her knee surgery on. Look, her fur is almost completely grown back in. She's just got a little spot there. And it needs to get a little bit longer still. So yeah, if you guys ever wanna know why you shouldn't shave a husky, it's been almost a year. And uh, she looks like that. She's like, don't make fun of, don't make fun of, I saw them tippy tappies. She goes, don't make fun of my furs. So why am I talking to you guys about Memphis's knee surgery? Well, like I said, uh, almost a year ago, Memphis had knee surgery. And a lot of you guys ask about how she's doing, even though we do talk about it quite a bit in the videos, she's doing amazing. She hiked five miles on Mackinac Island just a couple of weeks ago. She is doing amazing, aren't you? She's like, I'm doing amazing, guys. But if you don't know, she did physical therapy. She walked on a water treadmill. She did cantilevers. We went and saw a physical therapist for what, six straight weeks and then every other week after that. And we're still going to see, I see those tippy tappies. We are still going to see Miss Paula every once in a while just to make sure that she keeps the strength up in this leg. And of course, we're walking daily and doing all those things. So why are we talking about Memphis's knee surgery? Well, that brings us to the real part one of the update. You guys have been asking and asking and asking, when is the next plushie coming out? When is the plushie coming out? Are you gonna make new plushies? Are you gonna make a new Memphis plushie? Are you gonna make a new Kira plushie? Are you gonna make a new Eleanor plushie? We have something to show you. Them little tippy tappies, you ready to show them? Are you ready? So as of the time that this video has gone up, there will be a link down in the video description below. These will only be available for 21 days. We brought back the plushies. So from the front, it looks exactly like the first round of plushies we did, but there have been some updates to these. If you turn it to the side, look. It's, look, the Memphis is laying on the side. That's the knee she had done. We put a little green knee brace on the side because I thought that was so cute. And then you'll notice there's a stripe here. Look at, we gave her her vanilla twist. And we made her back a little bit furrier because if you guys notice on Memphis, <laughs> So if you've never actually noticed this, Memphis has this really cute vanilla twist where her white fur comes down and then goes over to the side. So we wanted to make sure to represent that on this plushie. And the other thing you'll notice is as you come down further along Memphis's back, her fur turns from this whitish color to more of a blacky gray color. Hi, hello. Oh, is it it's snuggle time now? She's like, oh, it's snuggle time now. So that is what we tried to represent on this plushie. It's so cute. Memphis is like, look, it looks just like me. These are so super cute. So again, these are only going to be available for 21 days and then they're gone. They will never come back looking like this again because they're limited edition and that's what they are. And I know a lot of you are going to ask, well, is there going to be another Kira plushie? She didn't have any weird surgeries. Is there going to be another Eleanor plushie? She didn't have any weird surgeries. How are we going to update their plushies? The plan is yes. The plan is that once we're done with this one, would you like to snuggle with your sister for a minute? Here you go. Snuggle with her. There you go. <laughs> we don't kick her. Don't kick. Whoa! You threw her on the floor. What's wrong with you? The plan is, once we're done with this one, we will be starting a new Kira design. And I want to know from you guys down in the comments, what would you like to see on Kira's design? Should she have some snowflakes? What should she have to make her different than last time? And the same thing with Eleanor. What should we do differently with Eleanor's as well? So let me know, like I said, what you think we should add to Eleanor in Kira's next plushie. I will take suggestions because I'm really not sure what to do with them. Oh no, you got an itchy ear. Oh no, you want me to get it for you? You're gonna chew on your foot. Whenever Memphis scratches her ears, I knew it. Whenever she scratches her ears, she bites her foot. Like, hey, stop kicking me. Stop kicking me. Stop kicking me in the face. You're doing it to yourself, sweetheart. Oh, you want me to get it? Are you good? You get it? Do you need help? Oh, nope. Bite your foot again. She's goofy. Says she's goofy. So we kind of started off the video with a little bit of a Memphis health update you know, about her knee. This part of the video is another little Memphis health update and she just covered it up. Can I see your paw? Can I, can you lift your head? 
So on the side of Memphis's paw, it's really hard to see. But see that little tiny black spot there? Move, Memphis plushie. That little tiny black spot right there. So Memphis has this little tiny black spot on her paw. So as of the time I'm filming this, tomorrow Memphis will be going in to have that little lump removed, but she's also having an abdominal ultrasound done. So we did a blood test on her. We do senior workup on her, and I talked about this on the vlog over on Snow Dog's vlog. So some of you guys, this might be a little bit of a repeat. Yeah, I know. Get feisty. Get feisty. Tell me all about it. Show them. Say, I got so much attitude, you don't even know. Oh, back to the scratchy ear. I just scratched your ear, honey. <laughs> Are you good now? So as I was saying, she's gonna be going in for an abdominal ultrasound and to have that lump removed. And she's only going under mild sedation. She's not going fully under. They feel like they can remove that lump under mild sedation. They're gonna send it in and see what it is. We don't think it's anything, you know, major, but it's there, so we're gonna send it in and see what it is. So the reason she's having an abdominal ultrasound is I had her senior blood workup done, which I do this on all my dogs once they turn seven every year, we do a senior blood panel workup, and hers showed that her ALKP liver levels were kind of high. Hello, mini Memphis. So the vet suggested doing an abdominal ultrasound to see if we could find what might be causing it. Now, those of you watching, if you guys have experienced anything like this before, if you wanna leave comments with your experience down below, I am definitely going to go through and read all them. I do read all your comments, even if I don't have time to respond to everybody, but you never know, maybe you guys have gone through something like this and have some advice for this as well. Again, I don't wanna scare you guys. I don't want that to be what this is. So what I'm gonna do now is through movie magic, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you the update on what the vet said, because like I said, I'm filming this on Thursday. We go to the vet tomorrow morning on Friday, and then this video goes up on Saturday, so. Let's see what we found out at the vet. And movie magic, Memphis is back. So Memphis has actually been home for oh, about four hours now. She's still feeling a little bit of effects of the medication they gave her. So she got put, like she got the calming medicine, but not put completely under anesthesia. So they give her the medicine that they usually give the dogs before they put them under anesthesia. They did the abdominal ultrasound. They took that little lump off her foot. That's why she's got the green wrap. The blue wrap is where she had her IV in for medicines and stuff. And then they gave her a little medicine to wake her back up. And like I said, she's been home for a couple hours now. She's, she's definitely a little more alert now than she was. <gasps> Do you get the hiccups? She's like, yeah, maybe. Are you staring off into space? Do, are you seeing colors? Memphis, do you see colors? <laughs> now we can see her little shaved belly. So they had to shave her belly for the ultrasound. So, like I said, I'm not gonna make you wait for the news that we do have. So the news we do have, well, we don't know what the lump was yet because they sent that out. So that won't be back for a few days. As for the abdominal ultrasound, drum roll please, it didn't show anything, which is good. All of her organs looked good, nothing was swollen, we didn't find any masses, none of that. So she did not get another blood test today because uh, on July 31st, I think it is, she's going in for a bile acids test, which if you guys watch Sherpa, my friend Sherpa, um, they have the Sherpa and the Sherpa's Day channel. I'll put their links down below. Sherpa just went through the same thing and had a bile acid test done. So Memphis is having a bile acid test done next week, but first they're gonna run a full blood panel workup again. And if her liver levels are back to normal, we're gonna wait on that test and chalk it up to, it could have just been something strange or it could have just been her age or she might have ate something before she had the blood test. We don't know. So. All good news so far. She'll have her next test in 10 days. She'll get the stitches out in 10 days and we'll hopefully find out what that little lump is. So what do you think of that, Memphis? She's like, guys, I'm exhausted. Mom spent all kinds of money at the vet today. Yeah, I, I kind of did, didn't I? And I have to do it again next week, but you're totally worth it. There you go, now you can snuggle with yourself. <laughs> Links in the bio for the Memphis plushie. I think August 11th is the day, the last day you can get it. So if you're gonna get one, go get one. It's so cute. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, audience. Turn around and